Hi everybody. This is uh, Bill Blasel Shalaba, Atma Prem. Haven't done any kind of video for a long time. I watched a video just a little while ago on Facebook. This is one of those viral videos. It's uh, where a young man comes out to his mother because he's gay. And uh, something sparked me, made me want to say something about this. And not necessarily any kind of preaching, not necessarily any kind of spiritual talk. This talk is really to you, the young man or woman, who is reaching that point in your life as you grow up, that you're having certain feelings about yourself and about others, that you're not feeling like you're part of the crowd, that you don't really like what the other boys like or the other girls like. You like the boys, you like the girls, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now, excuse me. <laughs> now, um, when it comes to coming out and telling your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your friends that you're gay, that is something that you must do in your own time. But don't let fear get you like I did. I lived in fear for most of my young adult years in hiding such a thing. And it wasn't until I did something foolish that my friends and co-workers all found out. And some I came out to because I felt comfortable enough. Hell, one person who was my best friend I thought that I was in love with and almost slept with. The whole truth about this is, is that don't hide. Hiding is what causes the confusion. It's what causes the hurt in your heart and your soul. If I would have opened up and I would have come out to my family, just like they, they already knew when I told them. Except for my sister, the first one I told, she was oblivious, she had no idea. But it wasn't until I met my husband, my now husband, almost 14 years ago that things started to change it had already started changing I'd already come out to all my friends and I was accepted on the most part but on that note if you come out to your best friend or anybody and they jokingly call you names like fag faggot lesbo cocksucker any of that stuff that person is not your friend no matter how hard you try, and no matter how many times they say that they will be there for you, if they're treating you that way now, chances are it's going to progress and it's going to get worse or it's going to stay the same, but nothing's going to change. It's not going to come to you in your favor just because you want it to. Being gay is not easy. I take that back. Being gay is easy. Being accepted as gay is hard for some people. It's not hard for me because people that don't accept me are idiots. See the ring that my husband made me? Isn't this the most beautiful silver ring? Give him a plug for his jewelry making. He loves me. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the love I share with my husband. And I'm proud of everybody that was there at my wedding for standing up for what is right. When you love somebody and they're gay, if you're not gay and you're watching this, you should love them regardless of whether they are with women, men, or of the opposite sex. It's not about who we sleep with. It's not about the sex that we choose to have sex with. It's not about the gender that we fall in love with. It's about who we are, deep down inside, who we're born to be. Some in the spiritual sense would tell you you're born to be nothing at all, that it's all part of the cosmos. Some will tell you in the religious sect that you're born to be a child of God, therefore being gay is a sin. Don't buy it, don't believe it, because you're not a sin. God didn't put you here to be a sin. God didn't put you here to have you hurt, to have you hide, to have you cry. 
That's not what God put you here for. God put you here because you have a purpose. You have a purpose in life. And that life is yours to live. And nobody else can judge you for it. And nobody else can get mad whether you are with a man, woman, dog, cow, pig. It don't matter. What matters is what you believe in yourself. So I say... If you know in your heart, in your loins, <laughs> that's a joke, that you're gay or you're a lesbian, ain't nothing wrong with that. Maybe you've accepted that in yourself, but you're so afraid to say anything to anybody that you hide. You're never seen with anybody. It's always kept under dark, and, and it's, it's kept in private, and it's, it's under discretion. Oh, we've all done it. So have I. It was in the dark and in discretion that I met my husband. My husband that changed my life, that brought such spiritual value and worth to me, that changed me as a human being. I love you, Carlos Anthony. You're the greatest thing that's ever come to my heart, my soul, my being, my body. I would be nothing without you. Now, did you hear that? That was really true. And that was really genuine. I want you, the person watching this, the young man, the young woman, young teen, whatever, watching this, to be able to have that same feeling. You know how many years I hid from that feeling? Even when I was ready... I wasn't ready. Even though I was already out, I hid from it because I was afraid what people would think if I was dating this person. Never mind that I was already being gay with other men. But the whole table turns and changes when you go into a relationship, when you have that one person that makes your heart bounce. And I'll be damned if I didn't go into my relationship and I tried to hide it. I called him my roommate. You're not hiding anything at that point, by the way, viewers. <laughs> you're not. The only thing you're fooling is yourself. Because everybody already knows at that point. At least with me, they did. But I just wanted to say this because it's so important that you yourself become the young man, the young woman, that God put you here to be. And you can be that person, whether you're gay or straight, bi, transgender. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. What matters is the, the person that you are, the I am that you are. Take away the person, because you're not that either. But that's a different video and a different subject. I just had to speak out on my own homosexuality that I'm very proud of. I'm proud of my lover. I'm proud of my best friend who's my husband. He's my lover, my best friend, my husband, my, my everything. And I want you to feel that way too one day. I want you to have a wedding that all your friends and family will be at, just like mine. It's called a happy ending. You can have it. Life is one big fairy tale if you want it to be. But don't let the villains of the fairy tale get you and take you down. Because it's just not going to happen. You're too strong for that as a human being. As a as a child of God. I'm an ordained minister and I will marry anyone that is in love as long as it's not bestiality. <laughs> I want people to share and rejoice in the happiness that every person in this world should have whether they are gay, straight, black, white, green, purple, transgender don't let people call you homo don't let people call you fag keep your head held high and you stand for who you are
Don't let anyone destroy your happiness. Don't let anyone take away your true identity as who you are as a living being. Don't let anyone do that to you. And don't be afraid. Don't live in fear. False evidence appearing real. F-E-A-R. That's all it is. In this video I watched, this young man came out to his mother and she already knew. But that young man couldn't have been maybe 15 to 17 and he was in turmoil. The same way I was. The same way you are right now watching this. So, keep all that in mind. Live your life. If you're gay, be gay. and Be proud of it. Come out. Go to a pride parade. Go to a pride festival. And if no one wants to accept you, if they tell you that they don't love you, then walk away. They didn't really love you to begin with, and that includes your family. If they want to cut you off, let them come around in their time. If they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But you did your damnedest, and you did your best. Okay? So, on that note, as the mother said in that video, I'll leave you with this. If you tell someone that you're gay and they're your friends and they make fun of you, they don't accept it, they weren't your friend to begin with, so write them off. Move on. Next. Thank you for watching. I really hope that this helps somebody out there. I really do. That video touched my soul. It made me cry. And rather than going through my history, I'll tell you.